Hey dolls! So I'm back today with my 35 week bump date. I have a lot to tell you and get you for this one because it's been a struggle. So first off, let's check my bump app like we usually do. Also, if you're liking my hairstyle in this video, I just videoed, um, I just recorded a tutorial of this hair look um, and it should be up when this video is up basically or maybe just after. Um, okay, so week 35, baby is as big as a pineapple. A pineapple. It's a big baby. <laughs> My baby at 35 weeks. Now hearing is fully developed and baby responds to best to high pitched noises. I have a really squeaky voice so the baby's probably like <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> if you're having a boy, his testes have probably fully descended. I think I'm having a boy. I think I said that already. But yeah, I think I am having a boy. <laughs> Baby's about 17.2 to 18.7 inches from here on out. Here she won't get much longer, but will continue plumping up. Baby's now about four to 5.8 pounds and will put on a pound or more of baby fat before birth. I'm hoping that our baby is going to be between seven and eight pound, fingers crossed. So my body at 35 weeks, frequent urge to pee, yup, your bladder is getting pressed by the baby, mm, I know. <laughs> Constipation, make sure to get plenty of fibre, hasn't happened to me, thank god. A continuation of all those aches and pains and maybe even a few new ones, like as I said again about sitting down and stuff, that is just up to so bad. I looked it up and it basically said, don't sit down for too long, don't stand up for too long. Basically bed rest is what they prescribe for it, which I'm not gonna stay in bed all day, do you know? But even turning over in bed at night, it, it's really, it's actually hard like to do. Um, an increase in the amount of contractions you're having. I don't know, like I felt one or two, I think. That was just really sore like down the end of my stomach. But like other than that, I don't think I felt any contractions really. And they were meant to be so sore. So, mm. <laughs> this is the end of 35 weeks. I'm in 36 weeks as of now. Um, so I only have four weeks left now. <laughs> it's getting so close. Um, okay, let's get onto my list of the things that I was doing in 30, week 35. So, so I had a doctor appointment and they had my glucose test back and basically everything is perfect with my glucose test. Um, all the levels were right and whatever, which we were super happy with because the doctor out in the CUH, like in the hospital was kind of like, no, like you need it done. And she was like, it could be so serious, which I think it is, like if you have pregnancy diabetes, it can be super serious and um, dangerous. But um, she kind of scared us a bit. So yeah, we were just over the moon that everything was perfect. So yeah, you know, I'm having major heartburn. I'm just taking my tablets, nothing more I can do about that. But it's making me feel really sick, which isn't nice. I painted some of the house. I'm getting these nesting urges that are just crazy. Like, I can't even explain them. It's like, I was texting Philip and I was like, on about painting. And then I was like, feck it, like I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it now. Got all the stuff. Uh, Philip's brother was already after bringing up the paint and stuff, cause he was going doing it. I painted um, like one side of the wall upstairs, one side of the wall downstairs in the hall and one of the big huge walls in the sitting room. Myself. I was standing up on a chair, I know I shouldn't have been but like I couldn't help myself like. Now afterwards I was bait over it, like I shouldn't have done it and I know I shouldn't have. But I had to, I was like I need to get this done. <laughs> it's so weird. Philip killed me when he came home, but he was like, well done, like, fair play to you, but you shouldn't be doing this, like, and you standing on the chairs and whatever, so I got killed. So he rang his brother that night, and <laughs> I was like, Paul, you need to come up, like, this weekend, because she's just going to end up painting all of it, like. <laughs> so Paul came up the other day, so now our house is fully painted, oh my god, it makes such a difference. We painted everything, basically, like, 
painted the hall like a grey kind of neutral colour, like a really light grey. Gray. It's more of a white really with a grey tone. And we painted the sitting room um, and our bedroom just like a, a cream kind of a white and it makes such a difference. Oh my god, everything just looks so much cleaner and bigger. It's amazing. So we're obsessed. <laughs> Um, what else did I do? I got the rest of the stuff from my hospital bag, finally. The only thing I have left to get um, for the baby is like this Sunday now. I have to get the Kakuna baby kind of thing to know the thing they go into have to go into their cot. And my battery's gonna go, great. Um, and next to you, sleeping because that's what we're going to use for the baby to sleep in um we told our godmother and the godfather who they were well we asked them would they like to be godparents and they said yes so i am so happy with our choice i got a load of stuff in aldi for the baby because there was like the special buy thing i think i have the aldi haul up if not it will be up in the next few days um feeling super tired Finding it hard to turn over in bed or getting up to pee and feeling faint and sick. Yeah, so to be honest, boiling it all down the last few weeks, I'm finding it harder. Like the last five weeks especially, it is getting a lot harder in my pregnancy. I flew through all of it and had a great pregnancy. I enjoyed it. But now that it's coming down to the bare bones and stuff, it is getting a lot harder. And I feel kind of shitty and sick a lot of it. But that's to be expected. So I just can't wait to have our baby. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so we're beyond excited. And it's still so surreal, it's weird. That's everything for my bump date for week 35. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because it's free. So if you wouldn't mind, I would be so grateful. Thanks guys, I'll talk to you later.